Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to configure a DDNS account on your router. So the reason for the DDNS uh, service to be used is if you need to access um, your services uh, from remotely and the public IP address changes every time when you do that, it's a problem. So instead of using the IP address, you can use a domain name where every time the public IP address changes, that domain name will be updated as well. So that is the reason that we are going to use and DDNS uh, service to uh, configure ins inside of a router. So to do is uh, you need to log into your router first of all and make sure the service that you're going to use is available inside your router. So if we go to s applications in mine so the location may differ from yours so maybe it's in another place but normally it, it should be mentioned as DDNS so I'm going to go to the DDNS option so there are some several options available here so if I select the service type you can see that DIPC, DynDNS, DTDNS, no IP so those are the four services available in my device so if you are going to choose a service uh, say like DynDNS and if the service is not available in your router then you cannot use that service so normally the most uh, preferred and most uh, available widely available uh, D DNS service is no IP so I'm going to select no IP in mine and first of all before configuring the router we need to create an account in noip.com so let's go to noip.com so noip.com is a free service but the the thing is the free option only gets you up to 30 days uh, so every 30 days uh, you need to update the domain name or else you will uh, lose the domain name so that's the only thing that is uh, the downside of the free version if you need a paid version you can go to the paid version or else you can use the free version the only thing is every 30 days you need to update the domain name so if I go to sign up First of all, you need to give your email address and a password. And if you can, uh, or if you need, you can create the domain name from here, or else you can create the domain name later. Uh, so the enhanced version is this one. And $24.95 a year, if you want that option, you will get uh, 80 plus domain options, 25 host names, uh, no ads, and those other things. The free version only gets you uh, one domain choice and three host names so you can create up to three dom uh, host names on your service uh, but domain choices are on lim only limited to one so but the price is free and uh, every 30 days you need to confirm that's why it says cross so you need to configure uh, or update the domain name or confirm the domain name every 30 days uh, so after doing that agree the terms and free sign up so by doing so you should be able to create the account so i have already created my account in uh, noip.com so i'm going to log into my account so let's go to sign in so normally uh, if you go to dynamic dns you should be able to see all the domain names uh, that you are able to create uh, so in my case I have already created three domain names so I'm just going to delete one of them okay so after deleting it you can see that the limit is only three and currently I have created two if I want more I can purchase it but for now I'm going to use the free version so let's create a host name so my host name will be titan hyphen unread dot ddns.net so there are some free domain options here that are available here for free uh, if you need other domain names like these ones you need to buy the enhanced domain uh, so for now my ddns.net option is more than enough for me and here you can select the record type uh, if it is an ip version 4 ip address or ip version 6 ip address uh, you can just select it Normally, the public IP addresses that we get are um, IP version 4 addresses. So, because of that, we are going to select host A. So, afterwards, uh, that's all. So, you should be able to see your current public IP address uh, on this uh, interface. So, if we verify that, if I type what is my IP, so this is the same IP address which we saw 
here so then that's okay uh, so afterwards click create host name so that's all from here now what we need to do is we need to copy the domain name so as you see here the domain name expires in 30 days so that's why uh, that's what i said before so every 30 days you need to update the domain name so copy the domain name that you just created and go back to your routers interface and go back to your dns option so i'm currently on it so select the service type if you are you want to use no ip select no ip.com and normally these will be filled uh, the username password and the host name are the ones you need to fill by yourself so normally the username will be the account email address that you just uh, gave to create the noip.com account so i have already given mine and the password will be the password given to your noip.com account so the, enter those two and for the host name you need to enter the one that we just created so just paste that here so let's just log in back in so enter those the, those things so the email address password and the domain name, name you just created let's paste it and that's all afterwards submit now if you go back uh, to your noip.com uh, you won't see any change suddenly because uh, when we created the domain name the public ip address was the same uh, so but after some time you should be able to see uh, whenever the public ip address on your router changes uh, that and a changed new ip address should be updated in your noip.com uh, hostname as well so i hope this uh, video was helpful to you and thank you guys for watching and uh, subscribe my channel and have a nice day Thank you.